Hello, welcome to the Pursuit of Excellence with me, Anthony Bayruti. Need your help real quick. If you like the videos, hit the thumbs up button right below and please subscribe to get access to our latest interviews. Hit the subscribe button right there. Also, we'd love to hear from you about our interviews. In the comment section, tell us who you want us to interview or what you thought about the whole thing. Without further ado, enjoy the interview. How early did you get involved with studying film and watching film? Are you a big film guy? Huge film guy. You know, I'm a huge film guy, but I, I, it's hard to explain. When I was in high school, I, I don't even, like, I don't I think I've ever watched my high school film. We didn't watch any film at Yale, zero. Uh, Alf Reason was not into the film. He was like, hey, we want to be, it's about us. It's not about them. It's not about our past performances, what we can do in the future. Uh, but when I got to college, it was like, holy, we did so much film. And I just immediately saw the benefits to doing film. Like I can see the mistakes I'm making so that I can then not make them. I can see the positions where I'm making the most of my mistakes or I'm missing most of my shots or why am I doing this? And it became so evident. Um, and then as a pro, now, now as a pro, I can't tell you, I watched five times as much uh, uh, film as a pro than I did in college. So one of the things I'm really talking to a lot of these kids about um, nowadays is like watching film um, of yourself is important. I think you need to like you need to know how you move personally, how you're moving. How We're, not you're We're not talking mixtapes. We're not talking mixtapes. No, you need to actually <laughs> watch the game and see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, like, and some of the simple stuff that I talked about is like, do you know what you actually look like physically? How you move um, compared to other people? Do you like first of all, do you, do you check out your body language? You know, you're that person who's like sitting in the side, doesn't get a shot, hasn't touched the ball in three possessions. So you're hanging your hat. You're not playing healthy. You're not talking. You're not communicating. You go sit on the bench, your head's down. There's a million things that you can dive into and watch on film. It doesn't, you don't have to have the ball. Um, so then, so then, what, then I, when I pull NBA clips or when I pull NCAA clips or pro clips and I, and I show them these, these you know, I can, I can take a kid and say, hey, you need to work on this hook pass in this situation because you can't throw a pocket pass and you can't throw a chest pass. We're going to work on this hook pass. And I can show you 50 exact clips from Chris Paul, Donovan Mitchell, whatever. And he's making the exact same pass. And so when the kid actually understands it and looks at that pass, they're, by actually watching that film, they're actually doing a little bit of imagery, work in their brain, and then it's much easier for them to translate it into the, into the read during the game. So that's, it's huge. I, I think film is huge.